Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today it's all about the new Nike Space Hippie 04s. Welcome to the channel. If you've not seen one of my videos before, and if you have, you know exactly what's going to come out of my mouth now, is when I explain that I always look into five different categories when I review a pair of sneakers. Then at the end of the video, I will give these Nike Space Hippie 04 2022s or twos an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going on, please show some support by clicking the thumbs up like button below on your device and you can also subscribe if you haven't already. To kick off this review then, let's check out these new Nike Space Hippie 04s on feet. To kick off the look section, I want to do a very quick comparison between this new Nike Space Hippie 04, which I'm calling the Nike Space Hippie 04 2, and the old Nike Space Hippie 04s that I have in my hand here in the light grey colorway. What you get with the old version is round laces. With the newest, you get flat laces. At the top of the tongue on the new version, you've got a TPU swoosh. On the old version, you've got a bit of fabric scrap from the shop floor. The old version has the same kind of embroidered swoosh but it is linear on this one, so vertical lines. And on this one here, on the new version, you've actually got a cross-hatch and cross-stitched Nike swoosh. When you move to the back of the shoe on the new version, you get this new added TPU heel cup detailing, but on the old version, they have a heel pull, which is missing from the new version. When you go to the outsole of the sneaker, this is one of the main differences. On the new version, you've got a full toe-to-heel waffle cut Nike grind outsole. On the original, you only had the grind element on the heel and on the toe, and the rest of it was the crater foam that was exposed. And again, the other main massive difference between the two shoes is the fact that with the old version, you get this really rugged recycled crater foam mid. And with the new version, you've got definitely a re-engineered, much softer and much subtler crater foam midsole. Now I do actually like this new version as much as I like the old one, because for me, it's still got a great recycled element to it. 20% of the shoe is recycled. It's got the same recycled knit upper, which is 80% recycled from plastic bottles and also fabric waste from the Nike shop floor. It's a little bit rougher to the touch in the new version, but still you get the same effect. You get a really nice sock fit on the upper. I do like the addition of this TPU heel cup at the back because I think it did need extra support there. You've still got the elasticated system at the back of the shoe as well, which is a really nice tight fit around the ankle. I do like the look of the new crater foam but for me the original just had more personality because I really like that rugged recycled look like look at me I'm a big chunky recycled sneaker this one's definitely been toned down a little bit and the addition of the Nike grind outsole I do think is a nice touch looks wise because I do think it adds to the outsole but again I just think they've toned it down a little bit now I want to talk about their comfort when I put this new crater foam midsole to the test on my back doorstep You can see from the step test that this re-engineered crater foam mid, whilst the looks have been dulled down a bit, the performance has definitely been increased. It offered really nice responsive bounce backs throughout the shoe from toe to heel. It is incredibly chunky in every element of the shoe. It really only tapers off just towards the top of the toe here, but you've got so much cushioning underneath your foot that you really can't fail to have a nice ride with these shoes under feet. And then you get on top of the foot, and whilst this new knit is a little bit more abrasive than the last one, it does feel incredibly soft and comfortable on your feet. I really do like the addition of this TPU 
new heel cup. It does add extra support. And with the laces system on these, I think it does cup the foot nicely on the top. Now I'd definitely say that these are a true fit. Do not worry about going half a size up or half a size down. I'm a perfect UK size 10 lengthwise, and these fit me absolutely spot on. And I've got slightly wider than average feet, but width wise, you get a really nice amount of width in the toe box of these sneakers. So overall, they've just got a really nice fit to them. Now I want to move on to their weight where I want to pop them on the scales and show you how much they weigh. Tip of the scales at 359 grams. These Nike Space Hippie 042s come in at 17 grams heavier than the previous version. But do not forget, on the outsole, you're now getting a full length Nike grind outsole that's definitely gonna add some weight to this shoe. The actual shape of this Crater Foam Mid is exactly the same, so I'm not sure there's any additional weight there. The upper does feel slightly thicker and slightly more abrasive, so there may be some extra materials on the top, but I definitely think the addition of this extra outsole has added that extra weight. But to me, they still come in at a really good weight for a lifestyle shoe. Coming in anywhere around the 350 gram mark is classed as a lightweight shoe, and they're just above that for me. So I don't think you're gonna wear these as a work workout shoe so for a lifestyle shoe that weight isn't going to cause you any issues now i want to move on to their breathability where i want to pump the upper full of smoke to see how breathable they are So the lacing system for these Nike Space Hippie 04s actually pulls on loads of this smaller lacing detail that you can see that runs throughout the toe box and the sides of the shoe. Underneath that extra material, there are little air pockets and the smoke escaped from that very well, but also the actual knit material itself, you could see the smoke did come out of that too and it came out very quickly and in a large amount. So overall, a really nice breathable pair of shoes. Now I wanna talk about their price. These come in at 115 pounds, which for me, I think is actually quite a fair price for the pair of sneakers that you're getting for that amount of money. I appreciate the fact that they are recycled, so there might be some extra processes that are required in the making of these shoes. And to be honest, it's a much fairer price than you get with the Nike Air Max 90 Terrascapes that were around, what, 135, an extra 20 quid. So I definitely think this price point is definitely fairer for the type of shoe you're getting. And they are more comfortable, definitely, than the Terrascapes that I tried previously. Now, moving on to my overall score for these shoes, I really do want to give them five stars, but I'm going to hold short just and give them four and a half stars. Now, I just think that they're great in a lot of departments. Breathability, excellent. Price is very good. Comfort is really, really up there. And also their weight is fine. I just think looks wise, they've toned it down too much for me. I really liked how rugged and out there the outsole and the midsole looked with the crater foam on the previous version. I think they kind of stripped it down and made it a bit more uniform, maybe a bit more likable for the mass market. But for me, I just think that they've, they've lost a little bit of character to the shoe, but I'm not gonna mark them down too heavily for that. Now, if you do like what you've seen today, please do not forget to give the little video a thumbs up right before you go. You can also follow me on Instagram. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.